All right, so we're gonna swap this PBL coil off of these laminates and then onto the uh, the vintage 820. Uh, is it Wico or, or Wico? I think I think Wico. All right. So, anyways, uh, first thing we need to do is take out this rivet right here. Okay. So next is to to drill out this, you know. But I started to drill it and I thought, oh no, let me show you this cool new Dremel I got. It's battery operated. So instead of being, you know, plugged into the wall, I can pretty much go anywhere now with my uh, rotary tool. I guess I shouldn't call it a Dremel. My rotary tool, all right? It's battery operated. Then I can come in and remove that uh, rivet right there. So I'm gonna put the phone down and I'm gonna finish that. All right, next step is to break off this little tab on the bottom right here All right that's the little piece that uh helps retain the the coil in there All right sits on there like that so i just use a a real small flathead wedge under there a couple taps a little brass hammer or mallet uh you can bend that little thing and it'll break off right we have to remove that so we can slide the coil off all right so we took that little tab off where i throw it right there all right took that little tab off all right and then you can use that same small screwdriver and come under here all right it's hard to do with uh one hand but if you get it under there you can you can see it moving all right so you know just gently slowly all right we want to pry this and, and slide it off of those laminates all right you can see maybe yeah all right, you can see right here, remember I, I took that, uh, I just took the that rotary tool, um, took the little burr, ground off that rivet, or you can drill it out, all right? Make sure that's disconnected. And then you can see if you just back and forth, real gently, each side, you can slowly start to walk the coil off the laminates, all right? That little tab is what was holding it on there, okay? so. Get it like that, and then the, the more you get it, the more it'll start to move, okay? So, you know, don't do not do anything crazy. Don't force it. You're just slowly side to side, all right, moving it off of the laminates, all right? All right, so I slowly walked it down back and forth, all right? You can see that little, uh, that, that little retainer in there. I'll get it out right now all right here's that little clip all right there's a little groove right there this slides up in there all right so once it's in there these are these are meant to be like a, a permanent fixture they don't come off quite as uh as simple and easy as the 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 wico we need to get on a the same page what do you call this wico wico let me call it wico because i think wico just sounds kind of weird uh we'll call it the wico all right so uh, I'll show you that one in a second, but uh, you have to break those off. So you break that off, right? Save this, get rid of it. Maybe it'll come in handy sometime in the future. Okay, and then <clears throat> now you have your coil, right? And for this one, right, these are made to be more easily removed. Take that screw out, right? It's not riveted. All right, and then you have that same retaining pin or that retaining clip, but that's it right there. So it will slide out with the coil, All right? And then now you just go through that same process, slide off this old coil, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go do that. And then uh, when I come back, I'll show you how to put the new one on. Okay, so once you get it down to the end, all right, you can pull that little retainer out, uh, save that clip right there, okay? All right, then you can slide your coil off. All right, and then, you know, these, these aren't like the uh, the 580 ones. These, uh, these are hardwired into there. So if these go bad, right, um, David Philman, he's got them on his website. You can just replace these. Or, you know, if you wanted to, uh, and, and his his version is, is much cheaper than mine. Um, if you wanted to keep your points and stuff. But if you wanted to upgrade, right, to the this version, this analog version, uh, that's the the transistor ignition. There's no more points, right? Now you're just going to slide it on. So let me go clean this off, get all some of this old dirt off, and then I'll show you that. 
Okay, so now we're going to repeat the the process, right, that we just did taking it off. Just do it in reverse. All right, slide that wire back there. That's going to be your kill switch lead. All right, get your laminates in there. In this little hole. All right, we need our little retaining clip. I'm gonna work this thing up and then I come back uh, I'll show you the final step all right so now what we do is you can see we've got the coil pushed all the way in we have our little retaining clip so it's not gonna fall out and then it lines back up with that same hole that we had before you take that same uh, machine screw right that you took out of there go through that little grounding strap right there Screw it back in. All right, and now you've upgraded your uh, vintage ignition system, right? So you can use the smaller original flywheel, um, this, uh, this stator plate, and then a new PVL coil, right? And then that's your kill switch lead um, or toggle switch if you have an on-off switch, right? So there you go. That's it. That's how you swap it over. And you, you ditch the points, the condenser, right? And you don't have to run that electronic uh, ignition chip externally somewhere.